Greetings fellow divers, my name is Alejandro Duto and this is another ISDC video. Today we are diving into the depths in South Beach, Florida. We're going to be exploring the Lakeland wreck. Throughout the video, we'll uncover the essential parts. As usual, we will have the three parts of this video. The briefing, the dive itself, and a little bit of the history behind this wreck. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, interact with us. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Links are on the description. Okay, let's start with the dive brief. The Lakeland wreck, a landship medium, LSM, rests up upside down just outside of the Governor's Cut in South Beach. It is situated to the north of the Miami Rec Trek, which we've done several videos to it, look at the card over here, and can be reached from the Rec Trek via a scooter to the north. It spans for 200 feet of length and 44 feet in width, which is approximately 60 by 11 in the metric system, with a depth of 135 feet, which is approximately 41 meters. This is a really nice technical dive that uh, you can dive either with Nitrox 28 or some sort of Halitrox. On the same way, the CCR divers should use a Halitrox mix for diluent. Although it's upside down, the wreck offers a bunch of penetration possibilities on the sides and into it. So without further ado, let's hit the water. The silhouette of the wreck on the outside doesn't say much as we can only see the hull. When we are inside of the wreck, the landscape is completely different as we can still navigate some of the rooms. Being inside of the wreck, we can see some shades of light that come from the bottom, meaning that the light is entering through the hull. Given that we have the sand on the bottom while we are inside of the wreck, it's important to have good trim and not to seal top. There's a bunch of debris around the wreck that is worth being explored. On what used to be the stern of the ship, where they load and unload the LSM, there is a big opening that can be penetrated and is quite interesting inside. When we finish the dive, we look up and see some recreational divers that ventured to the 40 meter depth, although that's not highly recommended. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the dive. Now let's delve into the history of the Lakeland Wreck. It was launched on December the 30th, 1944 as the LSM 373 from the Browning Shipping Company in Houston, Texas. This vessel played a part on the last years 
of the World War II. Its cargo included six medium tanks, three heavy tanks, or nine amphibious trucks, as well as 50 troops. Departing to the Pacific Theater on March 4th, 1945, the Lakeland uh, carried out missions in the Mariana Islands, the Solomon Islands, and even in Okinawa. After the war, it served as a troop and general woods carrier, transporting them to continental Asia. It returned to the US and eventually was uh, pulled out into reserve on October 14, 1946. Being part of the reserve, the LSM 373 moved around several naval bases and finally on uh, October 1959, it was um, renamed the USS Lakeland. The bad topic here is that it was decommissioned a month later. The Portsmouth Salvage Company in Chesapeake, Virginia purchased the ship in uh, October 6, 1960. At that point, the Lakeland was converted to be used as an inter-island freighter, was uh, employed for that for over two decades. Finally, it uh, was scuttled as an artificial reef off Miami, where it lies nowadays, on June 16, 1982. Okay, folks, there you have it. Another great dive. The dive on the Lakeland has come to an end. If you enjoyed this dive and the underwater footage, please remember to subscribe. Just drop us a comment. Give us a like. Also, stay tuned for more adventures and for more ISDC videos. I really hope to see you soon.